I'll show you the various ways in which you can place images into your publication within Affinity Publisher. First, a typical workflow is to initially create a picture frame to contain the image. I can select the Picture Frame Rectangle tool from the Tools panel here. Then I will click drag to draw out a picture frame that spans across both pages. Notice that I am intentionally starting from the top left of the bleed and making sure the bottom of the picture frame goes into the bleed as well. Now to place an image, I can either use File, Place, which has its own keyboard shortcut, or I can go out to my file browser and click drag an image in. I can then release the mouse button over the picture frame and the image will be placed inside that frame. This picture frame defaults to max fit scaling. I can change the scaling option up here on the context toolbar under properties. I'll set it back to scale to max fit for now and click done. I can also just resize the picture frame and the image content will scale appropriately because the scaling is set to max fit. Click dragging on the center handle allows me to easily change the position of the image inside the picture frame. And using the slider at the bottom allows me to zoom into the image. Using both of these together gives me more composition options. A quick tip. If you find all the construction elements, such as the bounding box, distracting, quickly switch to the View tool using H on the keyboard. You can also toggle Preview Mode on the top toolbar here, which removes other construction elements like margins, bleeds, grids, and guides. The shortcut to toggle Preview Mode is Ctrl W on Mac, Ctrl Shift W on Windows. Moving on, we may want to place several images simultaneously. Now, whilst this can be achieved automatically when using File, Place and selecting multiple images in the File Browser, I will show you a quick keyboard modifier that allows us to place multiple images using drag drop. I'll go into the Accommodation folder here and select all the images, then click drag them into Affinity Publisher. Before letting go of the mouse button, I can hold Option on Mac Alt on Windows, then release the mouse button, and this will bring all of the images into the Place Images panel. I have some existing picture frames set up here, and I'm now free to hover each image over a picture frame. Then I can single click to place them. On the Place Images panel, I can change the active image that will be placed by clicking to select another one. Rather than using picture frames, you may wish to place images independently. I'll show you some options for doing so on this next example. Placing unbounded single images can once again either be achieved using File Place or by click dragging the image in from a file browser. This approach simply inserts the image at its full resolution. I can just switch to the Move tool using V on the keyboard. Then I can transform the image non-destructively. For example, I might right-click and choose Transform, Flip Horizontal. Then I'll scale the image so it fits the entire spread and then just position it to the left. The image is encroaching on the text here, so I can crop it non-destructively by selecting the Vector Crop tool on the Tools panel here. And I can then just click drag on the right-hand crop handle until my text is visible. As I demonstrated before, the Option or Alt modifier when dragging multiple images in will allow you to place them one by one. You can also use this modifier with one image, however, if you want more control over the initial scale, I'll go out to my file browser and click drag this fashion shoot image in, then hold Option on Mac, Alt on Windows, whilst I release the mouse button. The image then appears in the Place Images panel up here. Notice my cursor has changed as well, 
which lets me know I am using the Place Image tool. What I can now do is click drag to draw out the image at the desired scale. Since I have the Move tool selected, I can easily transform this image. For example, I might rotate it slightly and just move it around on the page. Then I'll go back out to my file browser and drag in the other fashion shoot image using the same modifier technique to customize the initial placement scale. And once again, I'll just move this and rotate it. The transform bounding boxes are obscuring the layout, so I'll quickly switch to the view tool using H on the keyboard. For this second image, I'll add a non-destructive black and white adjustment by going to Layer, New Adjustment, Black and White. The red tones are slightly too bright, so I'll reduce them, then close the dialog. The black and white adjustment is a non-destructive layer that is positioned inside the Fashion Shoot image layer on the Layers panel. I can expand the image layer, which allows me to click on the adjustment icon if I want to modify the parameters at a later date. And that was a quick look at the various workflows and techniques for placing images in Affinity Publisher. I hope you found it useful, and thank you for watching.